Hey Candle Fam! If you're new here, I'm Alan with Earth Glow, and this channel is all about sharing the joy of candle making. In today's video, I'm hoping to be starting what um, I hope will be a series of videos that are called Fragrance Favorites and Fails but fragrance favorites, where basically I talk about different categories of fragrances. Um, so there'll be a video that talks about all the fruity fragrances, the gourmand fragrances, the clean fragrances. And so within each category, I'll outline what my favorites are and the ones that I absolutely hate and kind of leave out the ones that are just indifferent. There's a lot of fragrances that I've smelled that don't strike me as good or bad, and so I'm just kind of indifferent to them. And so I'll just kind of leave those out and focus on the ones that are either really good, in my opinion, or really bad. Let me know down below in the comments if this is something that you're interested in. Um, this would be really fun for me to film. For this video, I wanted to start with my favorite category of fragrances. And some people may even argue that this is not a category, but my favorite single fragrance note is amber and so the focus of this video is talking about all my favorite amber fragrances as well as the ones that i think are absolute fails i think there's only one on that list um and the ones that are honorable mentions these are fragrances that i am so excited to share with you because they are some of my absolute favorites um, of anything that I make. Amber has a long history of being used in perfumery and it is such an important note in making perfumes. So if you have a luxury marketed candle line or you're leaning more towards that type of uh, audience, then Amber is definitely a note that you wanna be very familiar with. But anyways, let's get right into today's video and I hope you enjoy. Also, I just wanna say, if you're a fragrance company watching this, I'm sorry in advance, uh, or maybe this is advertising for you. But the purpose of this video is geared toward my viewers, many of whom are small businesses without unlimited time and or finances to try out all these products. So my hope is to kind of narrow down the selection. I just wanna say that I stand behind the honest integrity of my opinions, but these are my opinions. So you do always wanna do your own testing um, as you are able to. And please know that just because I don't like a certain and fragrance that doesn't mean that you'll have the same feelings towards it you may really like it or there may be some fragrances that I do really like that you don't necessarily like but with all of that said and without further ado we are going to get right into my favorite amber fragrances of all time I also ranked these in order from five going to one so we're gonna start out with number five and that is Black Amber and Plum uh, from Candle Science. And this fragrance I use in my Wanderlust collection. It is my Amsterdam candle. And when I first smelled this fragrance, um, I think about a year and a half ago, I thought it was one of the best ambers that I had ever smelled. I was just crazy about it. And I still am, but I have found some that I like more. Um, but this one, you definitely get a lot of cinnamons and plum notes to this. It's kind of almost a holiday leaning fragrance to me. It's very festive, um, almost kind of sensual, festive, seductive in a way. Um, and this fragrance is my Amsterdam candle in my Wanderlust collection. And this is also my fifth favorite amber fragrance of all time. Number four, is, and this was hard to place actually, um, this is Chocolate and Amber by Nature's Garden. And this fragrance is so different because it's like a gourmand fragrance in a way. You definitely get more of the amber notes than the chocolate notes. And it's a very clean, refined rendition of chocolate. It's definitely more of like the type of chocolate that you'd smell like as like a Valentine's Day or I'm walking into a luxury hotel type of a vibe. It's not gonna scream gourmand or chocolate, but it, you definitely do know that that note is in there. Um, the amber of it is in this one is so refined and so luxe. Um, this fragrance is my Bruges candle in my Wanderlust collection. 
and some of my clients say that it is their absolute favorite candle that I make. Um, and I would definitely recommend checking this one out from Nature's Garden, but I will say that this one is gonna be more of what I would consider a decent hot throw if you're using a natural wax blend. And I do use all the fragrances mentioned at 10% in my 464 soy and in my beeswax soy and cocoa cream uh, wax blend. Coming in, Number three, we have Black Amber and Lavender, and this one is from The Flaming Candle. I think we're in focus. Um, this fragrance is a really good one to use if you make room sprays. Um, I've had a lot of compliments on this one from um, clients who have purchased my room sprays, and it has a very strong throw, like with one spray. And I can also do a video on how I make my room sprays if any of you are interested. Really nice balance of the black amber and the lavender. To me, it does lean more towards like the black amber side, um, but I can see this one being called like smoky quartz or like, like I call mine, um, I've sold this under the name Satin Noir, which means black satin in French. And I could see this being sold just has a lot of things that are very sensual, exotic. Um, it definitely leans more towards your upscale lines, in my opinion. And yeah, so this is my number three for my top favorite amber fragrances. Number two, and I think I had this fragrance featured in one of my other videos as well. I can't remember uh, which video it was. Maybe it was in my favorite fragrances of all time video. Um, I'll put it up on the screen, but um, this is Amber Waters from Nature's Garden. And I now will say um, that this fragrance does lean a little bit more masculine. I would still like hold to my argument before that it's a very gender neutral fragrance, but if it does lean one way or the other, I would say that it leans more masculine. This is one of my favorite oils of all time, like that I have ever smelled. Um, I actually have five pounds of this um, that I just like to keep on hand because I'm afraid that if Nature's Garden ever discontinues this oil, that I'm gonna be really, really sad. Um, but yeah, this fragrance is so, so, so good in reed diffusers as well. Um, and I have my reed diffuser recipe um, video that I can link above for you all if you're interested. But this Amber Waters, I don't even know. It's one of the most like cohesive fragrances that I have ever smelled. Like you definitely get a sort of citrus note to it in a way, like it has like bergamot with the Amber and it has like a whole profile of base notes, sandalwood. It's very clean. It's very luxury. Um, oh my God, this fragrance is literally, like if you do not know about Amber Waters, you are totally, totally, totally missing out. Um, the hot throw on this as well in 464 Soy and in my Beeswax Soy and Cocoa Cream is out of this world. And if you use paraffin or parasoy, again, it'll even be stronger. But oh my God, this Amber Waters, it is not even well reviewed, I don't think. If you go on Nature's Garden's website, like no one's even talking about this fragrance and I don't know how, because this fragrance is like, if you smell this on someone, you're gonna wanna be with that person in bed. Like it is that good. It definitely leans more like a perfume cologne or maybe more like a cologne, but it is not at all like a typical cologne. This is definitely something that is like edgy, modern, luxury. It just screams all of that. Okay, and my number one amber fragrance of all time, of all time is Ambra from Stone Candles. And this fragrance, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I know it's expensive, I know Stone Candles is expensive, but oh my God, this fragrance is so worth the hype. You get the amber, but it is perfectly married to patchouli and sandalwood and hints of like incense, like, incense smoke, but not a smoke in your hair type of a smoke. This is a refined, like 
really almost spiritual type of a fragrance. I sell this Ambra from Stone Candles in my Wanderlust collection as my Tibet candle. And this is a favorite of so many of my clients. This fragrance is really, really, really special. And the hot throw is out of this world in natural waxes, like again, I've tested it in 464 as well as my beeswax soy and cocoa cream wax blend. And I do use it at a 10% strength. Oh my God. And for my honorable mentions, um, these are in no particular order. Uh, this one, I really wish I could put it higher on my list, this Amber Romance from the Flaming Candle. It is so, so, so good. Um, but it's so light. Like it literally seems like it has almost no hot throw. And it's really sad because I want to love this fragrance. I love every aspect of like the scent of it. And it smells really good out of the bottle, but in natural waxes, at least how I've tested it at 10%, I've cured this fragrance for like weeks and weeks and weeks because I was trying to like get it to work for me. And no, it's just not having it. The way that I use this fragrance is with other fragrances and I use it as a blender. Um, I make a candle called Fleur du Soir in my French collection that uses two parts of this Amber Romance and one part of Gardenia Tuberose from Candle Science. But um, yeah, so this one gets an honorable mention, but I really, really, really wish it were stronger. Next honorable mention is Black Amber and, or sorry, Black Linen and Amber from Nature's Garden. And this fragrance is the best, like if you're looking for a luxury linen, this is the best luxury linen I think I've ever smelled. Um, this is like Yankee Candles clean cotton, like the luxe version. Um, but I will say that this one does not have as much amber as I would like um, for it to be considered one of my best amber fragrances for this video. So this one gets an honorable mention because it has less amber than I would ideally like for it to be featured um, on my top amber fragrances. Next we have Amber and Driftwood from Candle Science. And same issue with this one as with the um, Amber Romance from the Flaming Candle. This Amber Drift and Driftwood uh, from Candle Science, it's beautiful, it's woodsy, it's earthy. It is luxurious. This smells like the refined version of something like if Abercrombie and Fitch, if any of you shopped there when you were like teenagers, if they had like a refined adult version, I feel like you would smell this amber and driftwood in their store. This is like Cedarwood Blanc or Vanilla Birch, just like done Lux. This is literally like a West Elm, like they would have this as their store cover fragrance. Um, it's so good, but it's so light. It's so light. Candle science. It's so light. I've used this at 10%. Um, I understand the ambers are lighter in general, but I need this one to be stronger because I love it. And I do use this as a blender in my London Fog candle. It is um, one of the four fragrances that I blend together for my London Fog. But yeah, I want to love it. I have used this also in room sprays and it does work pretty well. It is on the thicker end. So if you're trying to do room slash body sprays, it's kind of not a good one maybe. But um, yeah, Amber and Driftwood gets an honorable mention. And the last honorable mention is Egyptian Amber from Candle Science. And I do really like this fragrance. Um, it is in my Wanderlust collection as a limited edition for my Cairo candle. It is lighter. Um, if you cure the candles and you use 10%, it will work stronger, but like, I mean, cure them for like two months. Um, yeah, but it is kind of a powdery fragrance. I have had some customers complain about it and say that it is kind of more powdery and they don't really like all the strong powder notes in this fragrance. And I do understand that. 
Um, there is a lot of like musk and a lot of, it. the name fits this one to a T with it being called Egyptian Amber. Um, I think that's perfect for this fragrance, but also I do understand that there's a lot of powder and that is not for everyone. And for the fails. Actually, this video is not that bad because there's only one fragrance. No, wait, there's two. But one of them was so bad, I threw it away. There's only one fragrance in this video that I'm gonna consider a fail that I still have. Um, and that is Amber by Stone Candles. Now, do not get this confused with their Ombra, which was my top Amber fragrance. Um, this one, it, it just leaves so much to be desired. Um, it's nice, like you get orange, you get black cherry, you get some jasmine to it with the amber, but the amber is just not a good quality amber. Maybe it's that they mix too much vanilla in this one, um, but it really falls short of being what I would want from an amber fragrance and um, I would never make this into a candle. Last one that I don't even have anymore because I threw it away. Um, at least I think I threw it away. I couldn't find it when I went to look for it. But it is Amber Romance by Nature's Garden. So the Flamey Candles Amber Romance got an honorable mention, this one. But the Nature's Garden version of Amber Romance is an absolute fail to me. It smells like a very weak, very watered down suntan lotion. And I never want to smell that again in a liquid form. Well, that is all for today's video. Comment down below if you have tried any of these fragrances or if you know of any amber fragrances that I need to check out or which of these fragrances you look forward to trying the most. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and consider turning on the notification bell so that you don't miss anything from me. And thank you so much for watching and happy candle making.